parts, your first Old Town appearance since returning. How did you feel after that? Uh, it was enjoyable. Yeah, good, good, nice 45 minutes. Obviously, that that everybody enjoyed. Pre-season game, so so not mad amount of pressure or or you know obviously a, a serious amount of um, pressure on the result. But yeah, it was good fun. Nice to be back out there. Nice to nice to wear the badge. I suppose, of course, you know, having it a bit of a local game with local fans, things like that's great to see them come out in, in attendance today. Yeah, these games are cool. I, I think they're quite nice for for supporters, obviously, to come and and get probably more of an insight as to what goes on, maybe on a match day, and and they get a little bit closer to to the players, to what they would do in in a national league game. Certainly, in and around obviously the clubhouse when the players are, uh, are going to grab food afterwards and stuff. It's it's nice. I've you know I've met some of the supporters today, and I'm sure you know all the rest of the guys will as well. So that's quite nice and. There, you know, they can start to become a connection with the with the supporters and, and the players. You spoke about that. Obviously, you were part of the first half team, but you like you said, you wore them out and got them every But a four 0 win as a team, it's a great result nonetheless. But yeah, I, I, you know, yeah, I, I can imagine the 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 manager may have may have give us a little bit of credit for the first half. Is it one of those kind of games, you know, that they put all the, the all their players behind the ball and, and make it very difficult and, and you know I'm sure there's an element of that they were fresher in the first half and made it more difficult for us. But we've got super talented players um, and those talented players showed showed what they're capable of in the second half and, and we scored four nice goals towards the end of the game. So yeah, hopefully that you know those guys are uh, are gonna become settled and comfortable in, in an all the shot environment and and can do that when you know when when it's business time in the national league. I think what stood out from that, obviously, you had yourself, you had any playing, and those experienced guys who really led from the front today with the communication with the younger lads who maybe needed that and gave a bit of support. Possibly, I mean, yeah, we've got some young guys, and obviously pre-season when when everybody needs uh, a certain amount of game time, that young players will get the opportunity to play, um, and it's nice, I suppose, yeah, for for me and Innie, obviously, we're we're senior pros in 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 this squad and. Um, and we can be a, a positive voice to reinforce what the young guys are doing. But like, as you saw in the second half, the, there's there's a lot of talent in in the team, and those young guys sometimes um, are capable of doing things on their own. So, yeah, me, me and Innie, for example, are, are there obviously to positively reinforce what people are doing. But as you know, we've we've got talented footballers, as I've said, and, and they're capable of doing things sometimes on their own. And reflecting on your first week back, how are you feeling after obviously pre-season training now today? How are you feeling? Good, yeah, fit. Um, it's, a, and it's an intense environment. The manager has, has set us up to work really hard. Um, we've covered a lot of distance this this week at, collectively, and um, and I think that's obviously the goal of the staff and, and the manager to to overload us ultimately at the start of pre-season. So, yeah, it's been tough, but rewarding. You, you know, after you've after you finish the hard work, obviously you get a good feeling of. Um, uh, uh, that you've accomplished something and so that, that's only going to bring us together closer as players, as a group. Um, hopefully then obviously the match days are nice for the supporters to feel like they're, they're getting a connection to the team and we've got a lot of games so long may that continue and hopefully we can be successful. Of course winning's a routine and a habit, you know, so it's great to start off pre-season with a 4-0 win today. I think so, yeah. I mean it certainly is a, 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 an important habit to get into. Um, we've got some tough games in pre-season. It'll be nice obviously to, to continue that feeling because... I can imagine last season the the with the difficulty with with not being able to win games consistently, that mentality starts to shift, and you start to lose that that sort of mentality of winning and um, and what that feels like. So, I mean, there's no there's no better time to do it than in pre-season. If we can start that early, then then going into the into the season, we'll, we'll know what that feels like and we'll know what we're capable of. So. Yeah, you're right. Um, you know, it's an important feeling to have, and and so long as we can do that in pre-season, it's it's good practice for the league. Finally, next week, another week of pre-season. Looking forward to it. Another week of pre-season. Yeah, I know it's tough. We've been given the schedule already, so we know what's the we know what's the come as players, and and it's going to be as hard, if not harder, than than the week that we just had, um, which is which is quite daunting, but um, an enjoyable experience nonetheless. It'd be good, obviously, to to get the guys back in together and train train hard. And so we've got that to look forward to and, uh, and yeah, hard work continues.